imposing building that never fails to look good on screen. It has the added benefit of having lots of outside space and grounds, a courtyard for hosting a banquet or dinner, and if you're getting married, it even has its own chapel. That makes it a very convenient, beautiful looking venue. Number two is Trafalgar Park in Wiltshire. This 18th century building is a house and not a hotel. As you approach the building, it has mature trees left and right and creates a really splendid setting. It also has formal gardens at the rear, which are lovely for hosting a drinks reception. Number three is Stone Barn in Gloucestershire. This rustic barn is set amid farmland and looks very visual. Its corrugated metal fascia, old oak beams and surrounding dry stone walls provides a great canvas for a country wedding. So number four on my list is Woburn Abbey in Bedfordshire. This is an impressive 18th century stately home. What charms me about Woburn Abbey is the beautiful drive you have through the parkland past wild deer. The venue includes the sculpture gallery, which has a beautiful formal garden that looks amazing on camera. Number five is the Mandarin Oriental Hotel in London. With its beautiful facade and its wonderful proximity next to Hyde Park, the Mandarin Oriental evokes glamour and status. You have the advantage of using Hyde Park for additional filming and photography. It also has its own outside space and despite its location is in fact quite an intimate hotel which makes for a very personal wedding or event. Number six is Headsaw House in Buckinghamshire. And what I like about it is that it's another exclusive hire venue. This fine house is set amongst beautiful grounds with mature trees, meadows, with great views of the surrounding countryside. Number seven on my list is Gravetime Manor in West Sussex. I love this place. It's a very characterful Elizabethan building with wood panelling, antique furniture and old fireplaces that creates a really warm, intimate feel. Outside it has one of the nicest wild gardens I've ever seen. A wedding or a party at Gravetire Manor just feels special. If I were a guest at this location, I'd absolutely love it. Number eight is Ainho Park in Oxfordshire. On the surface, this 17th century manor house looks pretty unassuming, but inside is one of the most quirky, imaginative interiors I've ever seen. This eccentric interior provides the most amazing opportunities for filming and photography. Not only that, Ainho Park has lots of bright and airy rooms, which, combined with its beautiful outside space, looks great on camera. And number nine on my list is Cyan House in Surrey. We've been fortunate enough to film many celebrations at Cyan House, and every time it looks splendid on camera. But the jewel in the crown is the old conservatory. Just looking at it, it fills the eye with wonder. This is where you can host the most amazing banquets and parties and for guests is a great place to attend a wedding or celebration. And finally, number 10, Cliveden House in Berkshire. First of all, you have the long stately drive up to the building and behind you've got the most magnificent formal gardens. Its commanding location over the surrounding county, including the River Thames, looks awe-inspiring. This 